is Sweet Danny B, and I'm here to show you this really adorable cookie. It could be great for the holidays, and it could be great for winter. That's what I love about the mitten and the candy cane cookies. And it's kind of a similar process for icing and decorating, so I'm gonna show you both. I love using icing bottles to ice with royal icing. It feels more like drawing that way. So what I have here is a thick tip bottle filled with red royal icing. And I'm gonna outline my mitten leaving an eighth of an inch edge. You want a little bit of a cookie border here. That way your icing, as it expands and dries, doesn't roll off the cookie. And for the mittens, you could really use any color. I mean, this is really such a fun cookie for winter. I mean, pink would be fun, blue. I love this bright red, though, that we've chosen here. So I'm filling in the mitten and just going back and forth a zigzag pattern with my icing. And this is a nice big cookie, so anyone who gets it is gonna be happy. Fill in the tip, and I'm gonna use an offset spatula to smooth that out. So just with light, gentle strokes, you just go all the way around your shape. There we go. And then I always do one last even smooth out and give my cookie a good shake. And that lets the icing even out and kind of heal any bumps. Okay, so here's the fun part. We found these adorable snowflake candies and I'm just gonna add them at the mitten border. Press them into the icing, give them a good press down So cute, and you could even just use your hands. These are bigger. So we could just press those in. And now that we've added our candy border, I'm gonna add red sanding sugar. And this is coarse sanding sugar. What I love about coarse sanding sugar is it's extra delicious when you bite into it. it it's a little bit of a crunch. It's so yummy. Okay, all the way around. Make sure you get your sugar on all the borders. We're just gonna shake off the excess. And there we go, so cute and sweet. You could just press in if you have any extra pieces of sugar sticking out. We do the candy cane in a similar way. I love the classic candy cane shape. And we're gonna use white icing at the base of this one. And I just outline it. And a lot of people are surprised when they see me add the big candies before I add sugar or nonpareils. And the reason I do that is because that's when the icing is sticky and it's best to stick them down right then. And then while the icing is still wet, you could add your sugar or whatever other candy you're gonna do to coat it. And that way everything sticks and it's just one easy step. Okay, so I'm just doing a zigzag pattern to fill in this candy cane. And I use a glass to keep these pointing down, and that way I don't have to wait each time to wait for my icing to get back to the tip when I start a new cookie. Oh my gosh, this cookie's so cute. Okay, so we're gonna give it a little shake. And my main decoration on this cookie are, are these candy quins, and they come in lots of colors. We're using red and green. And I'm just gonna alternate all the way around and press them down as you go and you'll see the icing spread out a little bit, and it's another reason why you leave that border. And one last red one. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring back my paper plate, and we're using white nonpareil candies. This is also gonna make this cookie so delicious. Any sugar or nonpareils or coarse sanding sugar just add like an extra crunch and sugar bite to your cookies. It's so delicious. So I'm gonna sprinkle off the excess and then the nonpareils are pretty small but I'm just gonna press in in certain sections where there's might be one sticking out. So cute. I put my nonpareils back into the bowl. Oh my gosh, these cookies are so cute. You can make them all winter. And just picture your kids making a snowman and coming back inside and seeing this platter of cookies. They are gonna be so excited.